eben keine Organisation darstellt. Doch auch im Einzelnen, wir haben keine Haltung, wir haben kein Format. Man sieht es in uns aus an. Ich bin troops of the Third Reich have occupied Larissa and continue their march toward Lamia. The unstopped thrust of our armored divisions will undoubtedly lead to the occupation of Athens tomorrow. The Supreme Commander of the German Occupation Forces issued the following orders this morning. You finally made it, Commander. We've been expecting you. Well, I only received your orders this morning, sir. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I'm glad to have you aboard. I want to introduce you to Lieutenant Colonel Bob Tucker, who's been sent here by British military intelligence. Captain Andriatis. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure's mine. I get the impression this is no ordinary mission, sir. Yes, it's a mission of the utmost importance. I'm putting you in command of the hospital ship Nereus, which will transport to safety the National Bank's entire gold bullion reserves. You are to rendezvous with the British ship south of Crete, which will then transport the gold to London. Ah, my orders are to accompany you on your mission. I'm afraid you'll have to put up with a genuine landlubber. My experience of the sea is quite limited. There'll be an escort, I hope. One of our submarines will accompany you. Officially, you'll be transporting medical supplies to our forces on Crete. The gold will be hidden in the false bottoms of the crates. Sort of everything. We had no choice, Captain. The future of Greece depends on this mission's success. It's in your hands now. Good luck. Take it up. Easy now. That's it. 56, loaded. Good. Are we ready? No, I'm afraid that we're behind schedule. Who's she? Anne Gordon, a Swedish war correspondent. Uh, Miss Gordon? Yes? She must be important. My superiors insisted she come with us. Uh, Captain Andriatis. My pleasure, Miss Gordon. Thank you, Captain. Uh, the officer will show you to your quarters. Ship's getting a bit crowded. Well, look on the bright side. Why, it's a long trip. Why, anything could happen. Hmm. Let her down. Easy. Good.
Admiralty to Nereus. Admiralty to Nereus. Come in. Over. This is Nereus. We read you. Over. Here, sir. Get underway as soon as you can. Enemy aircraft in your area. Over. Ship's cargo incomplete. Estimated departure in approximately one hour. Over. Very well. Follow the southwest course. Keep us informed of any changes. That's it for now. Good luck, Captain. Transmit this in code. Course 52 degrees, departure 1330 hours. Get the others. You, get moving. Go get a bite to eat, Dimitri. Yes, sir. What's our speed? Twelve knots, Captain. Course? Course 130, sir. Damn, we're way behind schedule. Radio room? Transmit this in code. Proceeding at reduced speed in order to avoid any possible mines in the area. We predict an eight-hour delay. Inform the Admiral there's an eight-hour delay. Get me command headquarters on Crete. Eight hours is a long time. Keep us posted. What is it? The English predict a German naval offensive. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous. The Germans will attack from the air, and our air defenses are hopelessly insufficient. Excuse me, General. Yes, what is it? The convoy has been sunk. And all our supplies with it. How can we expect to defend the island? Get me Commander Clayton. We're running a risk traveling at reduced speed, Captain. The Germans are bound to spot us sooner or later. It's better than running into a mine. The sea's full of them. Which is worse, a mine or a Stuka? I don't know. Ten degrees to starboard. Starboard, ten degrees, sir. You being a sailor, are worried about mines and keeping on course, but there's a bigger risk, security leaks, and the Germans have ears everywhere. Huh. It's strange to hear that from you. Never underestimate the enemy. They're good. Good morning. May I come in? <laughs> Certainly. So tell me, Captain, where are we headed? I'm surprised you haven't found out already, you being a journalist. Mm, but my editor demands confirmation from two sources. Which means, Miss Gordon, you already know something about our little itchy and crows. What, I wonder? It may be that we'll need your cooperation, Miss Gordon. There's no reason to be alarmed, but uh, I think it best you change into a nurse's uniform. Don't worry, I'll find you one. I, I don't understand. It's really quite simple, Miss Gordon. Your presence on the ship, the presence of a woman, and one who's as pretty as yourself, is a great boost for the men's morale. <laughs> Colonel Tucker, are you trying to flatter me? I am, if you want me to. Enemy reconnaissance plane. Everybody below decks. Circumstances, Miss Gordon, I'd appreciate it if you went below. Mm -hmm. Maintain course. Aye, sir. Victor! 
victorious troops of the Third Reich entered Athens early this morning to be triumphantly greeted by the entire city's population. Captain, are you there? Yes, go ahead. I picked up Radio Athens. Listen, Captain. The glorious flag of the Third Reich now flies boldly over the Parthenon. This is just one more step in the triumphant march of the German army to establish a world peace. The streets of Athens are lined with colorful Nazi banners, and Hitler's victorious troops march down them in perfect formation. In the name of the Third Reich, I demand to know the whereabouts of Greece's gold reserves. Is that rightful property? Yes, but our gold reserves were transferred out of Greece before you invaded. Gestapo. Meine Herren, heute ist ganz Griechenland in deutscher Hand. Wir haben im östlichen Mittelmeerraum Fuß gefasst. Der Held des Dritten Reiches hat wieder sein Wunder. Ich trinke auf sein Wohl. Heil Hitler! Heil! Heil. Greta ist von den Engländern sehr befestigt. Entschuldigung. Es gibt einen Plan, dass dort eine Informationsabteilung abspringen soll. Sie wird uns Informationen zutragen von einem Agenten, der schon dort ist. Ich hoffe, genug zu erfahren. Gentlemen, one of the bank employees spoke under interrogation. The gold was smuggled out yesterday on board a Red Cross hospital ship. Hmm, one of our reconnaissance planes sighted a hospital ship this morning north of the Falcons. It could be that one. Huh. Was there any other ship accompanying it? None. Then that's the one we want. I want it brought in, not sunk. Hello? This is German reconnaissance one to hospital ship Nereus. German reconnaissance to Nereus. Come in, Nereus. German reconnaissance one to hospital ship Nereus. Nereus, come in, Nereus. German reconnaissance, we read you. Go ahead. Over. Orders from German High Command. You will proceed immediately to the port of Monovasia. Your change in course must take place within five minutes. Otherwise, we will take appropriate military action. Confirm, please. Now hear this. This is the captain speaking. I want all hands to prepare for evasion tactics. We're going to give the Germans a run for their money. I want all hands assembled up on deck in 10 minutes. Now move it. Take her to 30 knots. 30 knots it is, sir. Her ready. Attention. At ease. It's my duty to inform you that a short while ago I disobeyed an enemy order. I expect we'll be attacked by a German aircraft any moment, so be prepared for the worst. Escort submarine on the starboard bow. Inform the captain. Prepare to surface. Prepare to surface.
Why have you changed course? We've been spotted by enemy aircraft. What is your intention? To proceed as ordered. Well, my orders have changed. I'm to rejoin the plane. In that case, we'll have to try to make it on our own. German warships are reported north of Crete, so be careful. And good luck. Thanks, we're going to need it. Now you better get out of here before the Stukas arrive. And good luck to you, too. Let's get out of here. Take her down. Dive, dive. All ahead, half speed. Right, sir. Scared? A little, I suppose. Captain, we've caught a stowaway. Lose an escort and gain a stowaway. But I already told you. My mother was Greek. My father was British. And I lived in Turkey. Is that unusual, huh? Which would seem to indicate that you are a British subject. Is that correct? Yes, sir, that's right. Why were you in Athens? <laughs> Let's say I was homesick. I told you I was half Greek. You didn't stay very long, did you? Well, uh, I heard the Germans were coming and uh, didn't think they'd, uh, well, like having me around. And uh, besides, I have no ambitions of becoming a hero. How did you come on board ship? I hid among the medical supplies being loaded. <laughs> I'm Bob Tucker. <sighs> well, glad to meet you. Anthony Fletcher. Oh. You want more? Oh. You're going to tell us the real story. Oh, that was quite sufficient. What are you, a Nazi or something? One of those for me, too, huh? Not before giving us some straight answers. I was serving time in a Turkish prison until I bribed a guard and escaped. Am I interrupting? I wanted to see who the stowaway was. The interrogation's almost finished. In other words, Lady Get Lost. Well, a good reporter will always get her information. Uh, no, no, don't, don't leave. I'm full of information. Really? Yeah. yeah, for instance, this ship is full of lice. Uh, Here, take this. Uh, you wouldn't have a cigarette, would you? <laughs> I prefer my cigarettes with filters, but uh, in this case, I'll make an exception. You know what we do to the spies we catch in time of war. Hmm. And you know the difference between a spy and me? Hmm? <laughs> spies have money. And I don't have any. Full speed ahead. Yes, sir. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. It's getting pretty hot down here. Keep her as steady as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Let me out of here! 
You idiots. I gave orders that a ship was to be brought back to port, not bombarded. But, sir, you... Uh, My orders were clear. I'm holding you responsible. The ship was not reported sunk. So all we have to do is find out, have one of our ships towed back to Athens. Do it. I want that gold. Understand? Do you have any news on our agent on the ship? Is Alexis Podopoulos here? Yeah. Oh, it's you. Uh, what is it? I wanted to thank you. If you hadn't shot down that German plane, we could have been sunk. I just did my duty. Feel like a little air? Sure. You know, not everybody appreciated your actions. There's even talk about a court-martial. Seems a bit extreme. I can agree with you on that. Why are they acting this way? Uh, who knows? But do you think it has to do with the secret mission nobody wants to talk about? I'm a journalist, and it's my duty to get to the bottom of things. You're very pretty. Will you be staying on Crete? I don't know yet, but I'm thinking of it. We're lucky it didn't get the main crankshaft. Time is of the essence. The Germans could be on us at any moment. Right, sir. Come on, let's get this job done. Let's get moving on those tarps. Yes, sir. Come on, man, this ain't no camping trip. Bring those to the bow. Just what is the point of covering the Red Cross in Sydney? It's just a little camouflage. Why is it that the Germans even bother with us? <laughs> ah, yes, that's a secret. What time is it? Three o'clock. <laughs> See the big hero who saved the ship. See what being patriotic gets you? And what do you believe in? Me? I believe in saving my own hive. If that Nazi plane had sunk us, we'd be fish food now. Whereas that Nazi's fish food now. <laughs> Doesn't make much difference to the fish. <laughs> Tell me there, soldier boy. All the German panzers, the air boys, and Hitler's crack troops. <laughs> you gonna stop them too? <laughs> yeah, a good cigarette is better than the patriotic deed any day. Only to those as worthless as you are. <laughs> Open your eyes, kid. Look what's happening around you. <laughs> what is your love of country got you anyhow? <laughs> you shoot down a Nazi plane and uh, they put you behind bars. Great. And the pace stinks. Unless you're a general or a colonel or something. Why don't you just keep your ideas to yourself? All right, now. That's enough. Break it up. You, out. this in the ship's safe with the others. We're never going to make our rendezvous. Well, they'll wait for us as long as possible. Can I come in? C certainly. I'm getting bored just wandering about the ship. Well, we can ask the Germans to organize another attack if that'll make it more exciting for you. Why'd you start a fight with him? Sorry, Captain, but it got on my nerves. Hmm. I couldn't resist hitting him either. You were supposed to win his confidence. Did you manage to learn anything? I didn't learn a thing, Captain. I think he knew the reason I was there, sir. There's no doubt that this Fletcher is clever. And it's also clear he's hiding something from us. He wouldn't talk about himself. But did he ask any questions about military matters? Not a one. Only insults. How could you be so naive? Aren't you being unjust? I mean, he's only a soldier, not a psychologist. And it's a soldier's duty to obey his orders. I would say this soldier has done more than his duty. 
Very well. Get ready for phase two. Yes, sir. Have you fixed the radio? It's beyond repair, I'm afraid. The reserve radio? It's busted, too, and we've no parts to fix it, sir. Things seem to be going from bad to worse. What we must remember to do next time, if there is a next time, is to bring with us a flock of carrier pigeons. Good evening. Ah, I see you have your own private flat. Yeah, but the landlord cut my water off. You mind? <laughs> Tell me, do you take your whiskey straight or on the rocks? <laughs> Actually, I'm not really a drinking man. But my virtues aren't enough to convince the boys upstairs I'm not a spy. I could help you, but I want you to make it worth my while. We're two of a kind, me and you. Isn't that right? Well, that depends, doesn't it? <laughs> First, you get me out of this bird cage, and then we'll see if I have anything interesting to tell you. <laughs> hmm. I'll think it over. <laughs> see anything suspicious? No, nothing. Just seagulls. Can't wait to hit the sack. Hey, God, I gotta take a leak. All right, I'm coming. Don't spend all night in there either. Word and you're dead. Quick, start rowing. Do as I say. Watch it, guys. To do. Five knots, maximum. How much time do you reckon? We'll leave right after dark. With any luck, we'll reach Crete by dawn. Sleep, I'm exhausted. Because you gotta meet the leader in an hour. Yeah, let him wait for me. Just think where you'd be now if that fishing boat hadn't picked you up. I'll be in some other woman's bed. 
Last night, I really had that itch. You can say that again. All last night, you wouldn't leave me alone. Are you complaining? Are you kidding? Tell me, whatever made you join military intelligence? I needed a job. <laughs> I'll hit there. Cut it out, Tony. That's not funny. Uh, it must be this black shirt. Cut the crap and drink your coffee. That's the way to talk. You know I love you. I've heard that line before. Rosa. Hmm, save your breath. I brought you a little present. For me? We're colleagues, aren't we? <sighs> You'll spoil me like that. <laughs> Maria, give me a drink. Then put these salamis away. Are they the good kind? Don't be funny. What's the situation? All right, I guess. But we're a bit short of weapons. Mm -hmm. What's the password? Plato's Republic. Where are the weapons? They're on their way. When do they arrive? They'll drop them by plane this afternoon. And mm, we'll show the Germans who we are. How many are you? Mm, twenty. To start. <laughs> what can you do with twenty men? Don't worry. When time comes, old Crate will be with us. <laughs> This one is extra. Maria, break out the bottles. Everybody drinks on the house this morning. We people of Crete are generous. <laughs> Hello. How long have I been? It's mid-afternoon already. You slept soundly for over five hours. Oh, I was pretty worn out all that rowing I had to do. And that guy Fletcher? He drowned. We fought and I threw him overboard. Huh. First the German Stuka, and then you kill Fletcher. <laughs> You're a regular Attila the Hun. Don't make fun of me, Anna. I'm not making fun of you. I find you fascinating. You do? I'm drawn to men who make their own destiny by their actions. Excuse me. I thought you might like some broth. On this ship, all the women have eyes only for you. It's not fair to the rest of us. Why, Miss Gordon here didn't leave your side for a minute. Oh, well, if I'd known that, I would have woken up much earlier. Tell me, are you sure Fletcher drowned? He went under never came up again. Maria, who's the guy in the photo? That's Alex, my brother. That's a small world. You know Alex? You gotta be kidding. We're buddies. He even gave me his watch as a token of our friendship. He did. Yeah, I think he'd be glad to know I met you. Fletcher. Anthony Fletcher. He's not a bad-looking kid, but you're much braver. I was sent here to take command of this island, and what do I find? I find that my predecessors have taken no measures to protect this island from a large-scale enemy attack. The air defenses are weak, very few armored tanks. Our infantry is equipped with antiquated weapons, and what's more, we're short on ammunition. What do we do then? I've already sent a request to the Allied commander asking for supplies, ammunition, and reinforcements. And if we don't receive them, we'll be forced to abandon the island. This was their reply. You must not abandon your position. 
It is hereby ordered that you maintain your defenses on Crete for as long as it is possible. Let's hope they'll at least send us some reinforcements before the German invasion. Unfortunately, there's not enough time. We expect the Germans to attack at any moment. I'm afraid there's only one thing left to do, and that's to pray for God's help. Germans all around us. The sky is full of parachutes. Hold your ground, Lieutenant, no matter what, and keep me informed. But we're being attacked on all sides, and this position will be overrun in a few minutes. I must retreat before we... Hello. Hello. Hold out as long as we can, huh? That's easy for them to say. speaking. This is Freiburg. Get me British Command Headquarters. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you at least give us some air support? Hello. Hello. This is sheer madness. Sound the retreat. Sound the retreat. Yes, sir. is under attack and no destroyer in sight. That means they'll be at point B in one week, but you can't hang around, so I guess we'll have to travel by land. Let's bring her in. Aye, aye, sir. Prepare to launch the tender. Yes, sir. Deliver this personally to command headquarters. Watch out for German patrols. They'll be everywhere. Good luck. I want a word with you. Yes, sir. You're from Crete, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, sir. It's very important that he gets to command headquarters. You can count on me, sir. This is for you. And don't take foolish risks. Understand? Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. going? Well, they're taking a message to headquarters. Why? Well, seeing as our radio's out of commission, it's the only way we can contact. Any news from British command? Not yet, sir. It must be taken to Plaka. Traveling by foot, you know, we could be there in two days. That whole area's been taken over by the Germans. But there's a way that we can avoid them. Through the mountain passes, sir. You'd better be right. Excuse me, sir. Could I have permission to visit my family? 
You have one hour. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, Major, send a message to the ship to unload. I want it done as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Get the launches lowered. Right away, sir. One fine weapon. Yeah, it's the latest model they've been issuing. What is that? It's water. Take it away. Men drink wine. Water's for babies. <laughs> <laughs> My son's become a man. Isn't that right? I should hope so after a year of war. They've been bombing all day. It's hopeless. Alex, you know, a friend of yours was here. Who? He wasn't bad looking, with black hair and a mustache. His name was, uh, Fletcher. Who? Anthony Fletcher. He said that you and he were real good friends, that you were just like brothers. Well, he lied to you. You should be dead. Well, now that you've eaten, you can tell me about your mission. Why have you been sent to Crete? Some kind of special duty? Well, it must be important. What's the big hurry? We haven't finished talking. I have to go, Papa. You don't trust your old man, Fred. I can't keep a secret, aren't you? It's a military secret. I'm bound by word not to I'm tell. Break your word or I'll break your head. Maria, bring some booze. But the doctor said no. Not a devil, a doctor. All right, sit down and talk. Dad, this is top secret. Not important. Sit down. All right. Greece's goal was smuggled out of Athens by ship to be held in safekeeping in London. We have to bring it overland to Placa, where we're to rendezvous with a British destroyer. It's not going to be easy for you. There's Germans everywhere you look. We've no other choice. Well, the only way it can be done is to travel by foot over the mountains. Even so, you're taking a big risk. Well, it's a risk we're going to have to take. I I'll take that, son. I've decided to come along. Mules are all loaded, Colonel Tucker. We're ready to go. I don't know the area. It's better you go ahead. You do the leading, and I'll bring up the rear. You guide me, you understand me? Well, do you? You want me to lead the way? I follow. Go on, you lead the way. Go ahead. Yes. I'll follow you. Where do I find these kids? everybody. The townspeople have all gone to the mountains, but please make yourselves at home here. You are my guests. Maria, bring out some wine for our guests. All right. Come on, son. I haven't forgotten your manners, have you? Give your sister a hand. Show her friends some hospitality. What is it? I smell Germans. Ha ha ha! 
Keine Bewegung! Hand hoch! Do as I say and nobody gets hurt! No one is to move! Well, Hitler! <laughs> I want you all to line up against that ball! Schnell, schnell! Come, come! Move! Line up against that ball! What are you doing here? We have a long way to go. You should rest. I just couldn't sleep. You know, I was thinking about you just now. Were you really? Mm -hmm. When I get off guard duty, I'll come and get you, okay? Yes. Yes. I think it best I take over command immediately. Yes, that's right. You were right. It is beautiful here. Like being in another world. It all seems so far away. The war, the killing. I used to always come here as a child. <laughs> so you were brave even as a child. I would have been scared to death. Alex, I... I just don't want you to ever have any doubts. No matter what might happen. What are you saying, Anne? Just that it might be nice to come back here one day. But we can. Once the war's over, we... There's no room in war for two lovers' dreams. Are you saying... 
Then you feel like I do? Nothing has to be said. Hey, the amigo! Can you not mind me, Yomi? Scheint's ein guter Yomi zu sein. Sind noch andere draußen? Wir sind alleine. Ich will, dass ihm nichts geschieht. Das ist unsere Arbeit. Geh! Los! Vorwärts! Ich hoffe, dass Sie ihm nichts machen. Was wir mit ihm machen, machen wir sowieso nicht vor dir. Komm! Who's that? Your old buddy, Anthony Fletcher. Always ready to give a helping hand to a friend. <laughs> Miss Gordon, this should teach you not to go out on romantic excursions. <laughs> the boys and I have decided to become your guardian angels. You got nothing more to worry about. Come on, let's go. I seem to find my son, Alex, and Miss Gordon. They have disappeared. When did you find out they were missing? This morning. My wife said she saw them leaving the camp together, up towards Anatas's cave. Well, we can't wait for them. You do what you want. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Let's move out. Mm, there's something wrong. It's not like Alex to do this. Maria, your brother doesn't have much experience with women. Just leave everything to me. to say it. I know what you're thinking. My German's not too good, but I understood a few words. Nevertheless, you'll be interrogated when we get back. <laughs> Your friends on the boat, they, uh, they really thought I was a German spy. How are we to know you with counterintelligence? Alexis, who are those people? They're friends! <laughs> Your old man's quite a character. <laughs> Just where the hell have you been? We were caught by the Germans. If it wasn't for Fletcher, we'd have been killed. Where were you? In the cave. Hmm. Tell me exactly what happened. I'll tell you later. Oh, I want you to tell me right now. I bet that woman got you into all this. She spoke to the Nazis in German. A splash. <laughs> <laughs> There was something fishy about you from the beginning. I smell it. I have a nose for Germans. It'd be better to bring her to headquarters. At the moment, I'm in command here. Talk! Very well. The truth is I'm a Jew. I was in a concentration camp, and the Nazis forced me to work for them. You really think I'd believe that? If I didn't collaborate with the Nazis, they would have killed my parents. But they lied to me. Otherwise, my parents would already have reached Berlin. Mm, how is it the Germans just happened to be in the cave? Mm, there are very few people who know about it. Sheer coincidence. It's the truth. When I spoke to the Nazis, all I told them was that we were lovers. I don't believe a word of it. You're lying. You're still with them, aren't you? That's not true. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. She's a spy who knows how to lie. I don't believe a word of it either. What's important now is that we catch up with the column. Get on your feet. <laughs> I 
A very moving story. I didn't ask you to believe me. You better find someone to believe you before they put you up against the wall. Getting killed by you or the Nazis is the same thing. <laughs> if the Nazis do it, we save ammunition. <laughs> me down, they're getting closer. Everywhere, they're all around us. See them. I suppose the Germans showing up Take now. Take their weapons. Sheer coincidence, too. Right, Miss Gordon. Name? Brown. Robert Brown. Division? I'm not obliged to give that information. We shall see. Your name? Brown. Robert Brown. Uh, Captain, we're just simple shepherds who are in the mountains looking after our sheep. And you expect me to believe that? Where is the gold? Where did you hide it? Gold? What gold? Oh, you mean the gold fillings in my teeth? You were helping the resistance. You're damn right I was. I was born and raised here. And when I see the land of my fathers is in danger, I defend it with my bare hands. The law forbids you to possess firearms. The law? What you mean is Nazi law. The one that allowed you to walk into Greece like cheap thugs. The Third Reich will bring law and order to all of Europe. I wouldn't bet on it if I were you. Greeks don't give in that easy. Why, you filthy partisan! <laughs> What is the column's destination? I don't know. My mission was only to escort the column, sir. Your name? Who, me? She tore us from Crete, and the women on this island hate Nazis more than the men do. We're all from Crete here, so be careful. Wait a minute. I'm not from Crete. <laughs> and I'm only half Greek on my mother's side. Listen to me, Captain. Believe me when I say that none of us knows where the column is or where it is headed. All we know is that it's transporting medical supplies. Where are you from? German-occupied Norway. Outside, all of them. Outside, move. All right, let's go. Get up. Raus. Robert Brown and Robert Brown. Hmm. You two, over there.
What's that mean to barn? I wonder if they'll make her talk. They don't need to. She's one of them. Well, let's not waste our time talking about her. All we have to do is figure out a way to escape. It won't be easy. I've been in tight jams before. This one takes the cake. And my poor men. Shot down like dogs. You've got nothing to worry about now. I've just sent them on a wild goose chase across the island. Now that you betrayed us. When I face the firing squad with you, will you believe me then? We gotta get out of this trap. Give us some cover fire! Call 
been warned and the Germans know about the gold. Tell them they know the rendezvous point. We can't trust man. Where will you go once the gold is delivered? We'll go join the rest of our army and wait for you British to tell us what to do next. <laughs> Yes, take a look at this. Sir, a message from command center. No bad news, I hope. Crete has fallen. Our army's retreating. Radio that we've received the message. Yes, sir. Sergeant, get everything ready. We're moving out in five minutes. Fresh goat's milk, except maybe wine. <laughs> Hurry up with that. We gotta get a move on. You're prettier than most nurses I've known. Where will you go after this mission is over? <laughs> the world's a big place. <laughs> Isn't there anything you believe in? Faith is a luxury I can't afford. But you can't live without faith. <clears throat> is it very painful? How can I feel pain with your hands touching mine? We must go. Goodbye, old friend. Thank you. My best to your family. Good luck. Come! It looks as if we made it, old chap. Yes. But where's that English destroyer of yours? That's a bit rum. Let's hope they haven't seen us. What's worse, that they've come specially for us. Corporal! Yes, sir. We'll divide into two units, one will man and machine guns, while the other brings the gold into safekeeping. You are to fire only if fired upon. You understand? Now get moving, we haven't much time. Yes, sir. Okay, move out! Ah. Ah. Hey, hey! Quick! There's no time to lose. I want those mules over there by the lighthouse. Let's go! Troopers.
Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I want you to take some men and set up some booby traps in those bushes over there. Over by the When ravine? they go off, open fire. Right, sir. Wir sind ohne Ausfall gelandet. Wir beginnen den Operationsplan. Ende. Ende. Plangemäß sind Sie gelandet, Herr Oberst. those blighters are up to? They're going to try to attack us from the other side of the hill. Yes, sir. Knock out those men on the roof. I've made contact with the destroyer, sir. Signal our position and tell them we need artillery support. 
We're being attacked by the Germans. Can you give us artillery support? Over. We need more artillery support. They're retreating. Sir, they want to speak to you. It's the captain of the British destroyer, sir. The Germans are retreating. We should transfer the gold before they send reinforcements. We'll rendezvous below the lighthouse. Do you read me? Until we meet again, perhaps when the war is over. When the gold is returned to its rightful owners. That'll be a great day. Where will you go now, Major? Arapino. There's a ship waiting for us. God be with you. Oh, by the way, do me a favor. If you see that Miss Gordon, tell her that her company was most pleasant. I'll give her your message. Mm. Let's get moving. We don't want to be here when the Germans get back. And you, your ship is waiting. I'm not going, I'm staying here. This is my home now. And it's gonna be a long war. All right, let's move up. 